While in teen, Ashlyn Vince spent four months living in Nashville in a musical internship of sorts, living in a trailer with her mom, her sister, and the family dog. Sounds a bit like a country music song, doesn't it? Well, the stay actually resulted in two pop songs that hit the Billboard charts alongside some of the biggest names in music. Ashlyn, you had two songs last year, Hold On To Love and Hands Off, that both hit the Billboard indicator charts, top 40 indicator charts. You were up there with people like Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran, what did that feel like? It was amazing. Um, at one point I was actually above Justin Bieber, um, and I was like, what, no way. My mom would like send me messages and be like, Ashlyn, go check the chart for this week, go check so who you're around. And it was so like, I don't know, kind of like, not in sh like shock, but like, I don't know, excitement, like my heart jumped. Ironically, the trip to Nashville found her leaning toward a sound that was more pop than country. <laughs> Every time I say, yeah, my label's in Nashville, they're like, are you pop? I'm like, yeah, um, this label actually um, holds a bunch of different varieties. He's not just strictly country, he'll do blues, he'll do um, pop, he'll do country, he'll do like a bunch of different things and pop is just what my voice lands into. You started doing live shows when you were only 12 years old. Yeah, um, so the owner of um, the Urban Steakhouse, Gerald, um, he was like, he would, he's very good friends with my parents and he's always like, you guys should bring out Ashlyn like we have an open mic night on Thursdays and um, I think it would be a good way for her to get out and get some experience and stuff. So that's where I started um, when I was 12. And then from there, then I started doing Taylor Swift tribute shows when I was 14. And then I did like rib fests and all that kind of stuff and just kind of grew from there. Ashlyn is paying back her parents for their support over the years. She'll be taking Laura Lee and Joe with her to the Grammys. Well, I'm pretty excited to be going to the Grammys. Uh, we have an opportunity to go uh, because she was on the ballot. Um, we had an opportunity to, to, to get tickets and go. and So it's going to be pretty exciting to walk the red carpet and uh, a proud moment. She's down in Nashville while she was still a 17-year-old in high school. How did that all come together and how did you keep her grounded? Uh, how did all that come together? Um, going down to Nashville, knocking on doors, uh, pounding the pavement, uh, making connections, and eventually it all came together. But how do you keep her grounded as a high school student going through all of this? Um, we, 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 well, there's a lot involved in keeping a child grounded. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, uh, but it, she comes by it naturally. She's, she's just a great girl. At 18 years old, did you think you'd be traveling to the Grammys? Did you think you'd have two songs that had you know, got recognition from the billboard charts? No, I did not expect any of that, but it's been an amazing year, past year. Um, the experiences that I've had and just everything, everything really has been amazing. So what's next for Ashlyn Vince after the Grammys? For me, um, I need to continue writing to finish up my pop album and then release that and see where it goes from there and hopefully put another one out to radio and see where that goes. Reporting for The Source in Welland, I'm Mike Balsam.